The impact that low graduation rates have is enormous. It's, it's a cost not only to us as a corporation, but to us as a society. This program will be successful because we'll have many partners. But there is a key, and that's the fact that we are bringing what we call intermediaries into Detroit to partner with specific schools. The intermediaries have expertise in how to turn around a school. We did an unprecedented outreach in southeastern Michigan where we asked 7,000 residents throughout the Tri-County area of all things uh, that you would like to see the region to make progress on, what social issue would that be? And education clearly came out on top. What makes this so different from all the other reforms, every teacher and every staff member is looking at the entire child not merely the academics and, and, and the three R's, we're now going into the social needs of the child, which ultimately means that we're going to deal with the social needs of the parents as well. We studied the schools that have closed the achievement gap and we're following those practices. In the first week of school, if there's a student that misses school, they're on track not to graduate. And when you can have every principal and every teacher know that and be responsible for kids from that first week of school missing one day, that type of clarity and just relentless commitment to making sure that those kids are in school and succeeding, I think is what's going to really make the difference. It provides the structure to build a solid system of education by building relationships, putting students in more intimate settings, and, being, and also providing an opportunity for staff to get professional development and provide best practices. We are inviting all three sectors to participate and we're mobilizing local residents to be involved in that change effort. And so it's not just saying to a superintendent of schools, it's your accountability to change that school. That's not the case. It's not the mayor's accountability. It's not the governor's accountability. Rather, it's all of ours.